It's a polarizing conversation, even online, but the most used hashtags globally are pro-Palestinian. Hashtag Gaza under attack, free Palestine, and Israeli terrorism are trending worldwide with tens of millions of tweets. The attacks come before the end of the Muslim holy month of Ramadan. This woman posted a picture from inside the hospital in Gaza saying people should not spend breaking the fast in this place. Many of the posts are highlighting the toll this is taking on children. A mother in Gaza tweeted saying that her eight-year-old is shaking and has developed a fever. Her five-year-old, she says, is too quiet to speak. She says this is the reality of terror. Others are comparing life for children around the world to what those in Gaza experience, also highlighting the disproportional use of weapons during the conflict, from rocks to guns. On Instagram, The Daily Show host Trevor Noah reacted to the violence. Have a listen. If you are in a fight where the other person cannot beat you, how hard should you retaliate when they try to hurt you? I mean, think about policing. If a man has a knife, should the cops shoot him? In many parts around the world, like in the UK, they say, well, we're gonna do everything we can to try and not shoot the person, even at risk to ourselves, because at the end of the day, they brought a knife to a gunfight. When you have this much power, what is your responsibility? The outrage has gone from online to the streets. This poster in London says, Israel's killing children again. Enjoy your weekend. In New York, Palestinian Lives Matter protests are taking place across the city with thousands in attendance. Pro-Israeli groups online, like Australian Jewish Association, are calling these posters and protests anti-Semitic. But this author tweeted saying that that is not a matter of pro-Hamas or anti-Semitic, but about condemning the Israeli government. She said she denounces Hamas acts too because it's the innocent people on both sides of the conflict that are bearing the brunt.